this is a practical base. Now, despite that, when we view our visual interrogation and our design status, knowing that every element, which is the column, the beam, and the slab, they are showing green and they are showing OK, which symbolizes OK. I always like to check my beams one after the other to know the kind of reinforcement the program is given to me. If I'm not okay with it, I have the right to change the, the reinforcement on that member. So I'll start with the beams. I'll quickly click on the beam on the first floor and go to beam design reinforcement for just this active story. I want to check. So I'll wait for it to come up. So it's always good to check the beams to know the kind of design the program performed. Because to see if, if, the, if, the, if the program used the kind of specification you like specified for the reinforcement. You no, know, we used only Y16 for the reinforcement of all beams. Now this program can go ahead and give you a reinforcement size of 25. Why? You don't need that. That's why you need to check the beams one after the other. So with this now, I will start checking my beams. I'll have to double click or just say inter interactive design. So performing the interactive design for each of the beams. I'll click on this first beam to check what is there. If it's okay, I'll just, normally it's good to check one after the other. But because of um, this lesson, just to kill time, I'll just pick some of the critical beams like this and this one and this one and maybe one of the um, simple spotted beam and check. But on your own, when you're doing your design, it's good to check all the beams and also check the columns too to know the kind of reinforcement detail that the program gives to you. So, okay, so this is it right now. We have 2y16 up and 2y16 down. So, the, for me, this is okay. I'll click on okay and I'll go to the next. Like I said, you have to check all. Go to the next. We have 2 It's okay for me. I go to next. For me, this is okay. I go to next. I wait again. Now, if it's not okay, but for the ones I've checked before, they are all okay. So this is okay for me. Two is okay for me. Up and down. Two is okay for me here. Two is okay for me. I'll say okay. I'll go to next and say this. Now on this area now, this is okay for me up. This one is showing three. If I have to reduce it now, it's failing here. So I'll have to re increase. So with this, I'll increase this place to and increase this place to three. With that, this is too small. 30, I'll increase to three. Number three. With this place, I can leave, I can increase to three too. So with this now, you can see that you have the right to change the quantity of reinforcement and how you want your reinforcement. Uh, detailing to behave so you can say okay go for the next again and okay this is okay for me you go again so this is how you perform your interactive design this is okay for me I say okay next again this is um, okay for me so I'll say you quickly you just check this is okay for me for the next this is here is okay i need to okay this is okay for me okay 
this is okay for year three, but I want it to be three. I want it to be three. Yeah, it's to be three. Now, I want it to be three. No, this is two is okay. Now, on this pan right now, I want this pan is requiring six reinforcement because of the the length of the beam, which is five point one four five meters. So, but right now, I want this reinforcement to lap inside this column and inside this support. So I'll quickly say lap on the right and lap on the left. So it's not lapping right now. So when I have um, let me use it to be four so that if I will use the same reinforcement to run all across, then reaching here I cannot reduce to two. That's why I say you 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 have to check, you have the right to check, you have the right to do um your interactive design to tell the software what you want. You have the authority to give rights to the software to behave the way you want it to behave. So I'll click OK and go for it again, continue again. It's OK for me. Uh -huh. This is um, OK for me. Go again. This is, um, I have to lap. This is not OK for me. I have to lap the end. That will end. Okay, this is okay for me now. No, let me come back to that place. I don't want I don't like that what's happening there. I want this to be three. Okay, yeah, this is okay for me now. I'll go again. Um okay. I'm okay with this. Go again. Um I'm okay with this. Go again. Um I'm okay with this. Go again and um I see that okay I'm okay with this okay I'm okay with this okay. these all these beams these ones they all have similar small lengths now I'm not okay with this it showed me just one one y one diameter y system I want to be two so that's why I say you have to check Okay. This same thing here, I want to be two, not one. I wanna say okay. Now you see we properly checked all the beams. Now with this now, you cannot close this one. Now doing this now, you now know that your structural detailing will be based on what you want it to be and not what the software wants to give you. So I'll go again to the roof beams and do the same thing on the roof beams. I'll carry out the same thing on the roof beams to perform my interactive design on the roof beams. So I'll also check all. This is okay for me. This is, uh, let me see this. Is, um, this is okay for me. Yes, this is okay for me. So you do the same thing for all these beams. Okay, this okay for me. This is um, okay for me. This is um, okay for me. This is um, okay for me. Okay, so now I've done. We have it here steel bars for Y16 and the links were um, diameter 10 at spacing 175. Okay, I think I'm okay with this. Check it all. Okay, so we have done our structural analysis and design and also done our interactive design, our, pay our own design to give the, the software what we want as the end result. To our structural detailing. So with this now, we can now go for our foundation design.